Jay and I have a mastermind called Money Mindset Mastermind. And I want us to share a little bit here, you know, people who don't know us yet or who are just getting to know, let's say maybe they know me and don't know you yet. Will you share a little bit about why you're so inspired to help people with their money mindset? Because it is my belief that each and every one of us um, has the infinite capability to attract enormous abundance in our lives. We just don't know the tool. We may not know the tools or the, or the formula yet to unlock that. And so how would I be a good steward of humanity, a good mentor of, of humanity, if I didn't share that with everybody I know? Um, as I always say in my podcast, great content should flow through us, not to us. So mm. passing it on is is my legacy to the next particularly you know young people to the next generation um i used to be young once and i used to have this mindset that i'll figure it out i don't need anyone's help and um you know um you know help asking for help was a sign of weakness i know that's mm -hmm. not the case anymore and and so my passion is is to make sure that people can find um a resource to give them the tools to achieve their dreams. It's that simple. Mm. Yeah. It, it, when you say that, it makes me think about how powerful mindset is. Like in, in the stories you shared today, like even at the beginning when we were talking about money fears, it was a pivot in your mindset, right? And all great successes come from that place. You know, I think about my own story of going from food stamps to six figures and building more and more success and having more and more investments and just all the things, it all started with the root of my mindset. Sure. Like had I not changed that, nothing in my life would have changed. And so I think it's such a powerful starting place for every single person and and starting place and ending place right like it's it it goes through the course of your whole business never ever do you want to spend one day where you don't consciously align your mindset first thing for success it's such a powerful tool yeah it really is and you know just like we should nourish ourselves um um from our diet, from our exercise, our mind's no, no different. You know, it needs yeah. good, it needs good information in to operate at its highest level. And in the world we live in today, even more so because we're constantly being bombarded with, with, with toxicity and negative, um, messaging. So, uh, Gandhi said, never let someone with dirty shoes walk through your own mind. And the mm -hmm. only way you can pick those weeds is by being intentional and having a routine to build a, um, a, uh, an abundant mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Will you share what you do in your morning? I'm sure you do a morning routine. So what sure. will you share what it is to align your mindset every day? So the first thing I do is I start even before I open my eyes with gratitude. So I want to, I want, I want to start with, um, the second highest energy in the universe, which is gratitude. So I'll, I always give thanks for three things, someone, something, and something yet to come, particularly early in the day. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for this amazing conversation I'm going to have with Dr. Amanda or whatever it might be. So then I get up, I start my day. And then I go and I do my meditation. And uh, right now I've been using the brain tap, tap, brain tap technology, but I've been meditating for a better part of 23 years. And that just helps, A, slows the mindset down, um, helps me get into what's called theta. Theta is when your brain waves are slow enough where your subconscious mind is literally reprogrammable. It's, it's the highest state of reprogramming the subconscious mind. And the reason that's important is I don't care who you are, or where you came from. We all were um, unintentionally and sometimes intentionally, but mostly unintentionally, were given limiting beliefs by the significant people around me as we were growing. They didn't do it, you know, maliciously, but money doesn't grow on trees. You know, uh, the one I, I remember buddy saying to my, hey, man, you'll never be fast enough to play basketball, whatever the case may be. Right. And so. You know, all these limiting, a teacher saying, you know, you're good at history. You're not so good at math. And it may seem like an innocuous comment, but you just internalize that I'm never going to be good with numbers. Guess what? Now I've got a money mindset block, mm -hmm. right? And it started in, it started in sixth grade by your math teacher. Um, Isn't that so, wild? So, it's 
Yes. That's how it happened. Powerful. Absolutely. That's how it that happened. one experience can map onto your entire money story for the rest of your life if you don't get conscious of it. For sure. For yeah. sure. So getting, getting into that theta is how you then unprogram the negative beliefs or the limiting beliefs and reprogram a more empowering belief system. And we don't have enough time today, but my wife could tell you this story when we first met to now. Um, you know, I was probably the most negative, angry person she had, had ever met. <laughs> wow. And I said to her, I said to her, I said, why did you stay with me? She goes, outside of your boyish good looks, she said potential. <laughs> she said, I saw potential. <laughs> so, so I rewired my mind through the process of meditation, yeah. visualization, um, visualize every day, uh, the outcomes I want to experience in the day. I affirm, right. Affirming is putting statements of affirmation out into universe of who I am and what I'm becoming. And uh, another powerful way of, of uh, reprogramming the subconscious mind and then reading. So that's my morning routine. Sometimes it's only 10 minutes. Sometimes it's 40 minutes. It depends on the day. Yeah. Awesome. This is, this is, uh, these are gems of wisdom from a very high power entrepreneur who you've had many different types of businesses and highly successful. And it's hard for me to imagine you as negative. It's so interesting because I only know you this way. Yeah. <laughs> it's same with me. You know, I used to be like really victim minded and very, people wouldn't have known it because I think I had that mask of like looking nice and looking happy. You know, people didn't know how much I was suffering and I felt really stuck and frustrated and very resentful of other people because they had what I wanted and didn't have, you know, so it was this constant like jealousy, resentment, irritation, frustration, helplessness, victim mindedness, just like, and blaming everybody else for it, you know? And so it was like mindset work has been such a game changer for me. I mean, my whole world has, I was, I was. Oh, I had the coolest epiphany uh, last night. I was talking to one of my best friends who was at my graduation. She was in my cohort and it was four years ago. Like a, I'm just like four years and a couple days since I graduated. And when I graduated with my PhD food stamps, like hadn't even started my business. <laughs> and right. Like, I'm like, that was four years ago. Now I have, uh, you know, six figure growing every year. It grows my income. I'm married. I bought a house on almost an acre. Like my life is amazing, you know? And I'm just like, wow, a lot can change in four years from mindset work, everyone. <laughs> so check out our money mindset mastermind. We ran one before, as we said, it was called charge what you're worth. And we had a group of people that really excelled and it was incredible. So we decided to keep going with it and just restart it with the money mindset mastermind name. So, you know, we share for people what they're going to get out of it. You know, it's funny, you know, you talked about, you used the word mask and we all, you know, we have a money mask. Mm -hmm. And the question is what erected that mask and what are, what are the concepts and beliefs we hold that, that cause us to, to stay behind this mask? So we're going to help you identify, right? What it is, what are the beliefs right now that cause us to erect this money mask that we wear so we can remove that so again, so that we can understand what our triggers are, right? Mm -hmm. How to overcome those triggers. And more importantly, how to create the strategies of creating unlimited abundance in your life. That's probably the simplest way for to put it. But I mean, we drill down on some really cool stuff, you know, and uh, oftentimes it's based on specific needs of individuals. So we can tailor it. Um, but overall it's really to remove that mass so you can create an un unlimited abundance into your life. Oh, yeah. And it's so fun. I mean, like Dr. J and I bounce off each other. We bounce off the people in the group. We have a channel where we're connected throughout the week in between mastermind meetings. Like it is a high vibe. If you're ready to up level your money mindset and really make more money in your business, this is the place that you want to be. You get both of us there, like tons of, like you said, tailored attention, people coming in and saying they made the most money they've ever made in their business after having a lot of years of business. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it was the second or third month we were in the group. Yeah. It was fast, really yeah. fast. And just right. this up level vibe, you can just feel the vibe of the people in the mastermind. You know, it's like that magic synergy that happens in a mastermind group where everybody's focused on up leveling themselves. It creates a community of high vibe people. And you'll notice everything in your outer world starting to change. Your, you know, your health gets better, your relationships get better, you make more money, you feel 
like the guilt, the shame, the fear, the doubt, the uncertainty, all those things start to shift. So that's the power of a mastermind. And that is definitely what Dr. J and I are very inspired to bring to the table. And it's, it's fun. I'm excited for it. Yeah. I talk about the formula for success and the fifth element of that uh, formula is associations. It's who mm -hmm. you surround yourself, you know, um, we will up level our lives when we up level our relationships and humbly speaking is we can bring a lot of experience um, in life that can help accelerate your progress exponentially. And the, the proof really comes in the results. And to me, that's the most gratifying part of it because as the uh, members of the mastermind start to see life changing results, I mean, that's thrilling to me. Oh yeah. It's, there's nothing better than that. I, I, it's, it's what I live for. <laughs> it's so fun.